Fitzgerald will come on the field, and this is going to be a bomb of an attempt. Wow. What do you got, 58, 59? Was, yeah, look, right now, based on where the holder is going to mark it, and that's Mastromano, the veteran punter. I think he's going to put his knee down. 49. For what will be a 59-yard wow. attempt. He hit from 52 earlier. Wow. Now, going in this direction, this is a unique stadium where the wind typically goes in this direction. He's kicking because of the lower shielding to the left side and then the big frame. You see how it dips down there, so the wind tends to come off of that and aid in this direction. We will see. It's a 59-yard attempt by Fitzgerald to tie the game. And Georgia Tech is going to call timeout. a timeout. Georgia Tech. Georgia Tech's not going to be able to call another timeout. That's a new rule change that was implemented last season in terms of icing the kicker. 59-yard attempt to tie the game at the half by Fitzgerald. this game he, he might get signed it's gonna be a Liverpool and Chelsea a Man U signage happening after the first half it's true that was an absolute bomb so second down and ten three three five defense for the Lobos and here comes blitz a late blitz and a sack and a fumble and a recovery and it's going the other way christian ellis a touchdown it was a delayed blitz what a nice job coming off the edge to get to the quarterback and though that's his passing side, he's looking to the left, so it's similar to a blind side. He gets the ball out, picks it up on the scoop, and he is rolling to the end zone. Very nice job and a nice start by this New Mexico defense. Jaden Wilson, the Mike linebacker, came on a delayed blitz. You're right, the pressure came off the edge early, which had then forced, really, Malat to kind of come inside and absorb that blow from Wilson. With five seconds remaining, Aiden Burr a chance to be the hero. Must be at least 1,500 to 2,000 of them erupting. We've talked so much about Scott Trey's development from a season ago as a freshman. His patience and ability to sift through. He goes high, but how about the two outside defensive players unblocked? They're so worried about Tommy Malott that they can't do their job. And he walks in the end zone and puts his team up. Wow. How about day number one in college football in week zero? Keep talking about it, but it's a totally different animal now playing against the Yellow Jackets. Mastromano. Oh, he's caught up right at the 10-yard line was Rodney 
Shelly. Shelly's lucky that he held on to the ball because Edwin Joseph, the backup corner, was just tearing down the field as John Papuchas' special teams has been on fire today. That's been the big difference in this game. We've seen the field goals, we've seen the two-point play, and then Edwin Joseph was laying the hammer for Florida State. We've got a good one here in Dublin, Ireland, Joe.